grip over origin tightens daily as interim mayor with the upcoming election merely a formality my ascendance to full power is imminent since Croft's demise, his parasitic twin Mara has rapidly matured into a being of peculiar intellect and devotion. It possesses its late brother's cunning and a fervent loyalty to me, infused with the ancient wisdom of Mark Ayeli. Mara, curiously infant-like in its dependence yet ancient in spirit, has asked to suckle, and I allow it. Motherhood was never a desire of mine, yet here I am, nurturing a god. Mara speaks of Mahka Ayeli as if it were a constant companion, an imaginary friend advising its every move. Though Mara's memories, a tangled echo of Croft's twin, and a remnant slither of Mahka Ayeli's ancient consciousness are murky. Its insights are invaluable. Mara recounts Douglas's brush with success. The Thompson trenches had weakened the Stygian void sufficiently to provoke Makaili into attempting a reunification with its original corporeal form. Douglas had engineered a rudimentary interface for this purpose, beginning the process by removing the bridle from the mare, thus extracting Makaili's consciousness. He was poised to integrate this consciousness with the interface when Susan intervened. Armed with a segment of a potent talisman, she fatally wounded Douglas and fled deeper into the extension, taking the bridle with her. Now, with the bridle and Susan obscured somewhere within the labyrinth of the extension, our situation teeters on a knife edge. The extension now a lethargic sentinel, indiscriminately lethal to those who dare its depths. As such, we must deploy expeditions, expendable teams to probe its secrets and locate Susan. Many lives may be sacrificed, yet their efforts could yield invaluable knowledge. I must devise new strategies to liberate the corporeal, consciousness-infused form of Makayeli from the Stygian void now that the Thompson trenches are no longer keening and the wrens they created are healing. Can Origin's residents serve as the keening choir to breach the void? It's an enticing prospect, but premature. My priority remains locating Susan, the bridal, and the mare's remains. I'm initiating the interviews for the Alpha expedition immediately. We'll sift through every candidate to assemble a team resilient and resourceful enough for the formidable task ahead. My resolve is firm. I will not rest until Susan Thompson is located. Every hidden corridor and shadowed corner of the extension will be explored. Susan and the bridal she took with her must be recovered at all costs.